Good morning and God bless you. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 14 in the Message Bible. Dear spiritual self, just as it is by nature, can't receive the gifts of God's Spirit. There is no capacity for them. This seems like so much silliness. Spirit can be known only by spirit. Hallelujah. God's spirit and our spirit is in open communion. Hallelujah. We've been talking since yesterday about spiritual development. How you have to develop yourself spiritually. Just like Jesus advanced in the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God is from above. So, one major development required of us as believers, in fact, is the foundation of every other development, is spiritual development. But here, the scripture this morning is saying that the unspiritual self, that talks about the nature of man, the Adamic nature, cannot receive the gift of God. Many believers are not receiving things from God because they are still not spiritual. They still don't know the things that God values. They are not seeing the way God is seeing. They are not imagining things the way God is imagining things. The concept of major concept of things in the scripture are still not accessible to them. Yet they say they are born again, but they are not spiritually minded. Because the Bible said to be spiritually minded, you know, is life and then to be carnally minded is death. So if you want the things of God, you have to be deeper in your spiritual relationship with God. So this scripture is saying there is no capacity for you once you are spiritual. Spiritual things matter to you. Going to church, giving yourself, speaking in tongue, you know, dwelling in the Holy Ghost, hearing from God. You have to develop your instinct. You have to develop your consciousness, your sensitivity to the things of God. You will have to develop your capacity to know about God, to know about Jesus, to know about the Holy Spirit. You have to develop it. What is God saying about communion? What is God saying about the Trinity? What is the knowledge of God concerning soul winning? What is the knowledge of God concerning perfection, concerning morality? What is God saying concerning living in total obedience to the will of God? These are development that makes you spiritual. This scripture says they seem so much silliness. There are things that some people who have gone to church for some time or those who are backslider like condemn. I tell you about, about tithe and offering. How many people on social media keep attacking it? Because it looks silly. You know, the things of God look silly to those who are not spiritually developed. He said the spirit only knows the things that are the spirit. So the more spiritual you are, the more you are open up to the spiritual things. And most of the blessing you want God to pour upon you are spiritual. You can't use the carnal mind to receive the spiritual things. So you have to get yourself into the place of spiritually becoming sensitive, understanding the concept, why is God saying this? Why is God not saying this? Why will God want me to do this? Those reasons strengthen and deepen your knowledge in order to seek for spiritual things. God's spirit and our spirit has to have a union. You know, what you know intellectually has to be subject to what you know spiritually. What looks right in the, in the culture you know, somebody was saying, ah, can't we drink alcohol? Why should a Christian not drink alcohol? Or we are talking and then somebody is saying, um, why can't I marry an unbeliever? These are intellectual things that are not spiritual things. So when you come to Christ, you begin to develop your spiritual capacity. You begin to develop why God says this. And there are some, some of them, you don't have an intellectual reason why God wants you to do it. So all you have to do is say, yes, Father, if your word has said it, and if that's what you want, I'm, I'm in. That's what God wants you to be. God wants you to be a spiritual giant. You can't just be the way you've been in 2020, spiritually. If your prayer life is uh, 30 minutes, until now, it's now 25 minutes, you are going down. You are getting underdeveloped. Your prayer time matters. Jesus said to the disciples, before the Holy Ghost came, in the Garden of Justice, man, can't you wait with me for one hour? So, if you're a believer, you can't spend one hour alone in God's presence. There's a need for development. You have to develop your spiritual test. Let you pant after the things of God. And you will begin to see the blessing of God in your life as you begin to develop yourself. Development has benefits. And we will here talk about them. God bless you.